Absolutely by Digital Chaos, but now they meet in the winner's break. The winner of this will go to Shanghai. A little extra incentive for Archon, and maybe uh, give it a little more. You know what I'm saying? We have... Ten seconds. Archon, who just played their minds out in a two-hour slob-knocking first game, followed by a 40-minute loss into a 25-minute win. They're tired. I can assure you they're tired. Look at this. The the respect ban on TC Scylla first. I think it's more just a ban, but TC plays a mean-ass, mean-ass Scylla bear. Undying ban by DC. I like that ban. What? Dire team ban. Uh. Husker on dying ban. I think DC bans those up pretty similar. And now we do have Enchantress is still left in the pool. Along with such spear breakers, multiple other things. Let's see. There's a bunch of heroes in this pool. Enchantress, yeah. I figured the first pick for Moo. Enchantress is too strong in its current current form iteration. I'm sure people like Moon Meander will abuse it in the European team, but I don't think Europe's really been using it lately. America could take the, the world by storm with their Enchantress syllabar spamming. Dire team pick. Our world devourer. Team Archon's turn to pick. And there it is. Oracle OD. They are trusty in the Awar OD, which is actually putting in a lot of work. Which means we're most likely going to see a Marana ban. Maybe a Marana Kunkka ban from uh, Team Archon. I could actually see him banning both of them. Oracle picked up Theban as play shit out of this hero. And I like DC's draft right now. Um, I like DC's seconds. draft. They have a lot of ways they can go. Five seconds remaining. Hmm. Reserve time. What do they take? Your Bane? Yeah, I think that's good. I don't think DC really... Uh, turn to ban. I see a whole different story. They love Bane. I think Archon kind of sees the light with that here. And look at this. Quick ban, Marana. Yep. Will we see the Kunkka ban as well? No, the Chen ban. Okay. Interesting. We might be seeing a Kunkka pick up from DC unless... Sort of... Counter, maybe? I don't... They might pick Kunkka here. They might pick a fourth pick. I don't know yet. I like the Bat ban. Bat's extremely good for OD. No, there it is. Pick. See what I mean? Like... I've watched... Once you start watching these teams, it's pretty obvious what they're gonna do. And you think Team Archon, I'm not sure if they gotta see all the... If they watch the games, they should've, but... They, they had to know Kunk was coming, it's not a surprise. Um... What should they have mid versus an OD? I... Team pick. Are they gonna IO Tinium? Oh boy. Are they gonna IO Tinium? I like where this is going. I speak for the trees. Team Archon's turn to pick. Dire team ban. And there it is, the IO Tiny coming out of Archon of all people. And look at this, DC is picking what they picked the uh, first game versus Shazam. This is, is this exactly it? Five seconds remaining. They had Syllabare too. It's literally the exact same except for Syllabare, which got Reserve first banned. Time. What will they pick instead? Huh. Um. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um, 
What is a good replacement for Syllabar and like push? They could do a drow. Yo, 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 yo. They could definitely do a drow here. I don't know why they ban Brood. They just don't want to play it. Enchantress is obviously off lane. I think they just ban it to ban it. I could actually see a drow ranger here from a uh, digital chaos. It's kind of bad for Sio Tiny though. And ba well, was an Oracle and OD on your? Mm. I could see a draw ranger actually. I would not mind it here. So we'll find out. Reserve time. We wait for the bands, not much else to say here. And they are taking all their time for this ban. Sorry guys, we're just sitting here waiting for the ban. Not much else to theory craft here. I think Drow's their best pick Dial here. Pick. I could be wrong, honestly, but I like it. I think they want a carry here that can push at the, the 15 to 20 minute mark like they've been doing, and Drow definitely does that extremely hardcore. Ursa Warrior. Team huh. Ursa to Warrior mixed... I like the. I actually like that pick a lot. I didn't think of that. I guess they didn't need the pushing here when they already have the NP. I, I like this. I like this draft actually. What are they gonna pick? They need a safe lane kind of area here. Ursa wouldn't have been bad on their team either. I don't think you'd pick Tiny and Ursa though. Um. I really don't know. I have no clue what they pick here. Reserve time. Yeah, Timbersaw, the Moo Timbersaw. Wait, 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 wait. J.O. The mid Timbersaw, okay. I was about to say, Enchantress can only go off in this patch. Alright. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into the game right now, and it is going to be Digital Chaos versus Team Archon in a best three to end the night. Well, I hope. Jeez Louise, I'm about to... I mean, obviously, this night just turns into Chinese games and NBA games, but whatever. Now we wait for Aoi here to pick his hero. That'd be great. Five seconds remaining. And here we go, on the Radiant side, who lost the pick, they chose to get first pick after DC chose Dire. It will be Captain Fluff and Stuff playing on the Bane, meanwhile Whitebeard will be playing the IO. J.O. get to play that Tiny, obviously a carry hero, when you do IO Tiny goes middle. Here we go with the Monkeys Forever Timber. So we actually saw Moo playing it insanely well earlier in the 20 minute game. And then you got Moo on the offlane Enchantress, one of the most popular picks in the NA scene right now, and it is, there's a reason why. On the other side of things, you're going to have the Captain 1437, AK Theban, Siva, will be playing on that Oracle. He's loved it this all fall. TC is going to be on the Earth side. I remember him and Korok always trading off. Who got to play that here? It's so fun. Ooh, are they going to get the free? Oh, they just let it. And we're going to have Owie 2000 on his famous roaming Kunkka already, and that, with an OD, with a setup, it's actually a, so nice on there is Patchel Bell, AK 
aka Yawar, aka Water, aka Y God, aka the son of Sam himself. Double Fairy Fire Null Star. That's quite a bit of damage he's starting with. And then we have Bulba, the man who invented it all. Besides me, I invented him who invented it. You know how it is. It is Bulba, aka Bulbasaur, aka Fear Me from the old Dota 1 days. And he, we playing on the fear on the. No one else seems to play, but man, he is playing the shit out of it lately. The battle begins. Um, nah, doesn't even throw the torrent. Unlike that, he could throw an arrow and then maybe deny the rune again like he did before, but this one's fine. Both middle lanes getting the uh, bounty rune. Luck here, I don't know. J.O.'s just scouting stuff out, I guess. I don't know. Oh, placing the ward, alright. And who has the better block? It's pretty even, but... Yeah, damn even. He just gets put under. Whitebeard's gonna man up on him though. Here comes the chicken. And Jo just beats his ass a little bit. Now they're gonna miss the CS. Oh, Whitebeard should have actually taken it right there. Yo, oh, oh, he oh, you are. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just like saying oh. Well, some, this is some good laning by you are already actually. But all it takes is a level 3 and a double nuke onto you, and you will just die. So we'll see if that happens. Meanwhile, top lane, we have Owie actually just getting chased away by the taken over Dark Troll Summoner of Mu. With a sentry here. Not really. Does it block this? Did he place it later? Not really sure what happened there. Uh oh, and he's going to be going on him. There's a stomp. Oh, nice. Sleep. Yeah, I'm just going to. That was a bad torrent. Placed it way in front of him. He placed it like right on him. That was, that was kind of weird. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Monkey's forever actually playing on the bottom timber. Very, whatever. Against Bulba, so... You would think, in theory, Monkey's forever wins this lane. But the harassal you get early game from the uh, Nature's Prod, the damage is actually so much, even with reactive armor, so... Be pretty damn careful. Meanwhile, Moo is just getting pretty dominate top lane. We have not seen an actual tri lane in a while, and that's what they're doing. Smart laning by DC. Look at this, just taking him out. Oh, but he's missing CS for to do that. Uh, to do that. And there we go again, just harassing him. Level 3 now. Jo is almost 3. Once he gets 3, oh, and look at that, just puts under. Puts him under. Where's your man at? Psych, that's the Q ability. Oh, the regen runes bottom though. Will Whitebeard go for that as well? Jo is. Oh boy. Toss him back to Whitebeard. He might kill Whitebeard, actually. He has to do this. He has to bottle perfectly. Oh, but look at this. Oh! J.O. just... He gets the first blood, but then J.O. gets the... That's a lot of golden solo, J.O. But a big turnaround. I mean, that should have been a free kill for the IO Tiny. That kind of sucks he had to die there, but... Blood and that goes. I mean, we kind of saw that coming. He's level 4. Gonna get healed up here. Uh oh, he's just gonna come to lane and get destroyed. Oh, he gets a W up early. That was weird. No clue why he didn't Q earlier. Oh no, about this. He's in a lot of trouble. He should wait uphill. Is he gonna die? He's getting healed though. Is he gonna heal through it? He's gonna heal through it and perfectly timed bottle things in between. Well, it didn't matter because he wasn't hitting Whitebeard. Whitebeard just hit his bottle and healed up J.O. and that's a huge turnaround. That actually, that was very bad by Yawar trying to man fight that. He could have just ran away, I'm pretty sure. He was no longer slowed nor stunned after slow hit immediately. So a rough, rough play by Yawar there, but I'm sure he'll make up for it. Oba having a pretty decent lane bottom, 16 and one versus the Timber 17 and 0. It's a pretty even lane. They're both just farming it up bottom. Oh. Would have actually damaged him pretty damn hard there, but he misses. Now we're going to bind boots on monkeys forever. Maybe. There you go. Oh, he's going to go for the rune here. This could be a problem, though. Wait, what? 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 Did he see? That was weird. But he gets the rune. Now he has an arcane rune. Doesn't really touch on the IO, though. Oh, and he gets slapped. Uh oh. Yup, what? Yo, he missed the stun because the orbs hit him and woke him up. This could be a lot of trouble, actually, for the DCs going in. They're going to be able to kill Whitebeard easily. Oh, and he's just going to do that to Plump stuff. Plump stuff's going to go down out and traps him with the Treants. Free kill revolt with that. I have a feeling that was on Whitebeard. Hitting the orb so he couldn't 
stun toss. I mean, also kind of bad by the tiny, by not seeing the orbit. So, a very rough play from Ark on there. That was just that. That's kind of unexcusable when you're playing to qualify for a major land. You cannot make uh, bad plays like that. You just can't. We have monkeys forever now free farming bottom because Bulba did TP mid to get two kills, of course, worth it. The Oracle on level three is just saving a point. And we get a kill middle. I'm sorry I missed that. I was like trying to readjust my pants, you know, when it readjusted down there. Pretty easy kill. I mean, you just stand there, which it seems he was doing. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, boy, well. Bane Enchantress can do. They just won't die, but they're not going to do much, and TC's going to get pretty decent farm. Not one in Feeble. He's only level 2. Fluff is not Sandborn. He's only level 2. There we go. Spend the point. Gets it on the nuke. Baze boots on Bulba. Allow him to last hit a little better. Owie getting some good farm bottom now. Not really ganking middle. It's so hard to gank an IO Tiny unless they do it like that where they overextend. Oh, monkeys forever. Uh oh, monkeys might be in trouble here. Or is are in trouble. Oh, he gets the double rune. Look at this. He's even in cheek and bottling it again. Oh, and a bear man. I mean, they wouldn't have killed him. You are actually just wasting time right now. And look at this. They're just gonna dunk on this tower. And puts him under. They could run him down, doesn't look like they're going to, just get him tossed, do some damage. He has an invisibility rune. This is... Mars getting reasonably bodied middle OD, I should said. Well, top lane, Moo. Moo's just getting his farm on, he has his treads now. He can do a decent amount of damage. He's almost six, halfway, barely, but uh oh. Uh oh. Are he TB'd? What the hell? That was a really weird TB from UR, especially when they saw him running. I mean, uh, Bulba, sorry, they all... All their players mixed together. We're gonna have a mid-push, looks like, from the IO Tiny here, and, and Blue, Blue's here. Anything fishy happens. Glyph it right away, tower. looks like they're not gonna save it. He did not, they didn't get any of those creeps, whatever, they... I mean, they can't do anything. Moo! Look at that, even with his W, like, it just doesn't... He still attacks so slow, which is... He didn't even attack this. I don't know what happened. Fallen. And the Tiny gets a... If he gets a Blink Dagger, this... Oh boy. No, he's going for drums. He is not a Blink Dagger for a Spire. He likes the, having the mana. Monkeys Forever, level 8. Old Graf is... It tells the 1,500 lead experience Graf is 1,000 in favor of Dire, actually. I have... I'm not really sure why, actually. I guess it's the Fluff and stuff's only level 3, and... Unka is level 5, wow. Checking out Roche, don't see anything. Uh, Moo? Moo's level 6 now. Could definitely get a solo kill like the Oracle. I mean, he would just get W'd so he couldn't attack, but he could chase him down. Like right here. Just listen to TC at those creeps in the background. Helm of Iron Will first. Huh. That's a new one on a... That's definitely a new one. Nothing big going on right now. Monkey's just leading the charts, CS charts, especially with the eyes. And Bulba just nuding. Looks like he's probably going for the drums as well. Tiny actually has him. He is going to be dunking on kids. Going top. Uh oh. War is here. Oh, but he gets put under. Oh, this could be really bad for Archon. They're going to TP up, and there it is. Oh, he misses the. Getting it out. Oh, man. That was. 
I I don't get. Am I missing? Like, why do they, all these people have delay? Why didn't he just stun him immediately and then t like he would have still hit the combo? You don't have to do it immediately after. That was just that was kind of a bad play, honestly. Perfect combo and moves dead. Oh, what are they gonna do? They want to do something here, but what is it? Wanna go for TC, he's getting all false promise. We're gonna have uh, nothing, yowie, actually, oh, and he takes back the... Dang, all right. And he lives. Classic five armor, three HP. All he needs. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And Monkey's now just taking tower by himself with a, a Moo creep. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Uh oh, where'd it go? It looks like Monkey's is a Bloodstone kind of first guy. Blood bloodstone first kind of guy, yeah, there we go. Dyer's top tower is under attack. In jail, the old Quelm Blade Tiny. Drums, treads, I mean, he has decent points. He's one of the few who max stuns over toss, interesting. And look at there, going for Roche. He's getting the orbs, and the orbs spot him out. Oh, and we have the new queen on white beard. Uh, TC needs to be very careful. They're all gonna rotate in, though. This is not gonna be a good fight for Archon at all. Look at this, TC. Oh, TC gets bashed. And he gets it. Oh, Jail's, Jail's in, I guess. And he gets false promise. He does not take any damage of Jail. Get, does he have any? Craig, he does not. Look at this. White beard just gonna get absolutely dominated. Jail is next. He will go down as well. TC loses Aegis, but that's it. I guess they did lose him, but not that bad. You get an Aegis and the Roche Gold for an Io Tiny. Well, he loses you. And the Helm of the Dominator, sir. It's funny in a push meta when you're getting like Vlad's on everyone for the armor, and then when Ursa Vlad's used to be like the only person you get it on, now you don't get it on, whatever. And a smoke gang coming out. I would like to see a blink from Ursa next. We'll see if it actually happens. Four stab on OD, that's my favorite. Oh, they're looking for him already. Look at they find him. And he just goes down to OD. The global power of a uh, prophet. Timber Spa's going for Yule's first, actually, after the Soul Ring. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Huh. This is not looking good for the Radiant side at all. 4,000 experience down, about 2,000 gold. OD is very yoked out with just that force stab. He can chase down anyone, and he has an ult. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Um. How he plays so to get a little far gold for mech next. That's a normal build on him. Looks like he is probably gonna be going to the blank if he's saving up this money. That's the item. Oh, and they're pinging out yellow. Who's down here? It is Patchel Bill, AK Yawar. Here we go. He's gonna ult him. Is he gonna ult? No, he's gonna live. 
next to you to live. Oh, no. Here comes Steven. Yep, that nuke. It's like, well, it heals a lot, so it's not very good. That's That nuke's so insanely good. I get a tower top, though, with a J and Moo. Two drum charges already used by the Tiny. Entrance treads drums. What's he flying out? No Grax? Yep. Going for the Dragon Lance next. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, that's the first time he's actually gotten a tide burn. I wonder why. Um, I don't know. There has to be a reason for it. I'm, not, I'm really not sure what, though. Maybe to cancel Io's bottles? I, I really don't Radiance know. Middle tower is under he's actually, attack. like, gone stats over him. Time. Is under attack. Middle the dire somehow gets the tower. How do they not deny that? That's just bad. Uh oh, I put I believe. Yep, and here we go. Io comes in though. Are they gonna get moved? Oh, it misses completely. What are they gonna do now? The Io only has five sands to hold their back, and they're just gonna run. I don't think they're gonna catch anyone. And that's that. All right. So nothing happens. Hmm. Get him, healer creep. Put your auto heal on, dog. Where's he going? Is it a, it has to be a blink. Did he buy it? Let's see. There it is. The obvious that now he can just solo kill anyone he wants around the map. Bulb on the other hand, going for a... Going for an item. Huh. I'm missing a kill because Yawar is confusing me here. I mean, not Yawar, Bulba. So they get the kill. He has the Blink Dagger on Tiny now, too. So they get a free kill, and Yawar is having a little bit of a rough game. They have five kills on that team, and four of them are on Yawar. Uh oh, middle lane. We have a grip on TC. And they're going to get him, yep, easily with the IO relocate. Who just put in that pure damage on the Impetus? Wow. He has the Dragon Lance now as well, so... Two quick kills on the carry in the mid of uh, DC. Bring him... Bring him back into it. Look at that. That swing up. Treads on the IO. Get him craggy. Only really going on around the map right now. That was a really good use of that uh, first script for Bane though, so. So. Dyer's top tower is under attack. There's top tower getting that siege unit, just putting some work. Bulba still sitting with some, uh, some interesting items, of course. And obviously, like, Shadow Blade Axe, or BKB, I don't know. Maybe he bought it and didn't Warriors notice. I think that's probably what happened, then he didn't have time to resell it or something, I don't know. Max still trying to get bought on Kanka, not very close to it yet, though. And the blink on her set has not been used like at all. Radiance bottom tower. Nurse gonna push him. Think they had a Vlad's here. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Look at this. A double glyph? No, nope. they still haven't glyphed it. There's the glyph, so they're gonna have it. They should get this top tower. Yeah. Dyer's top tower has fallen. 
Huh. Bottom, tower bottom tower hasn't even fell. Now it has. And Hersi gets it. He's going BKB next. I'm almost positive. I hope it's not a Sanjin Yashu. I've been wrong about stuff before. There's the Shadow Blade. And he has an Overclub. And Fluff pulling these, they... And they'll team farm this, three stacks. You know. Double Golem, yikes. A lot of HP there. Maybe a smoke gank? Oh wait! Did I do that in vision? I don't think so. Now he's gonna try to run. Uh oh, he might run into him. Don't yep. Easy kill for I don't know why the IO Titan came down here, but they're here. And he's almost got a hack now, okay. So Archon is turning this around from that one clutch uh clutch gank when they killed both Yawar top and then they killed uh who was it? TC middle with the first grip, so Fluff's doing a good job. I need to actually start casting, so I'm like down. So let's see what we got. We got Bane. Bane is sitting here with the Staff of Wizardry. Uh, meanwhile, on the IO, we've got an Urn Power Treads Magic Wand. Tiny is going to have Ags and about 500 gold. He has Treads, Blink, and Drum besides that. Timbersaw has a Yules. He is definitely going. He's about halfway there to the Bloodstone. On the Enchantress. Oh, it's going to be a Yules, actually. Not a... Not a uh, Agonims. He has also has a Dragon Lance drums and treads as well. On the other side, Oracle. Wow, already a Glimmer Cape and Arcane Boots. That's huge. Ursa, Helm of the Dominator, Link Dagger, and Ogre Club and Ace Boots. Owie trying to get a mech about 700 away, and then OD, AK Yawar, going for that Orchids, but only has a four staff, one Oblivion staff treads. Actually, he's very close to now with that 18k, I mean 1.8k. And we do, we have a Sanj. So a, look at Fluff is in a really weird position. And then we have a Sanj, Shadowblade, Phase, Drums, Bassy on. And he is saving, he's just leaving it. I don't know why you wouldn't want the damage and the strength over Bassy or, but it is what it is. Maybe they're going for Roche. Roche is up again. And yep, TC is going for it. Be a pretty easy one. Look at this little wild wing little fucker. We have a uh, nice go pull them back in case they're baiting at the end. There are they none the wiser here, or what's going on? Are they gotta try to, I don't know. The eggs they need to know it's Roche. Oh, they're gonna just farm a stack instead. And there's that the first pair burns immortally. Big gold will now go back in favor of the dire. It's almost even on both graphs. Wow. Look at this, he's just farming it up. And Jay gets a lot of gold after paying him his Agnum C with about a 1.8k more even. And I don't know, is Bulba gonna go for Sanjin Yasha or oh he does finally do the switch, or is he gonna go for the Heaven's Hallbred? He bought So oh he yeah, has Silver Edge, duh. What the hell am I thinking? Extremely good versus both, uh... I, people want to say it's good versus Enchantress, but it's really... It, it kind of is. The problem is, you have to TP in while you're Silver Edge, and you have to attack her. The problem is, right when you click on your attack slow, so even your Silver Edge hit takes so long to go, you could just get stunned or something, and you just get fucked over. We'll see, though. Does he have it? I think he has his bloodstone too. This is it. This is gonna be interesting. Both teams have quite a few items. Uh, Tiny needs to be careful. Oh, and we have a gang coming. They're running the right way though. Oh my, are they ready? Do they see? Yep, Moo is gonna get dumpstered on. He gets healed. Oh, and 
I don't know, he gets sent back, but look at this, this heals from a... Uh, both Mooney can't even attack him that quick. He has a BKB and it's 10 second one, but he's not doing anything. Look at that, he just breaks right through the trees. He's gonna try to do anything. TC's uh, BKB runs off. They might be in a lot of trouble. And he stomps on X instead of doing anything. Oh, and he should live. He still can eat a creep. Yep, he gets healed up. I don't know what the chicken's doing, and it dies. That's his bloodstone. Why is he doing that? The steaming to go down. It looks like Whitebeard is. Steven does as well. Oh my goodness, J.O. is still doing so much damage. And look at that. Oh, that's only the Aegis, though. Look at Bulba. This is Silver Edge, and. And he gets a tie, he's dead. Oh good, fight by Archon again. I did not even see how this guy died. That was an overextend. Or play by TC after I've been praising him for so long. Like, that was just a misplay. It's now 11 to 10. DC leads and kills, but they're down on both graphs now. And that's what I was saying. Did you see him when they tried to kill the enchant? Right when you right clicker, it affects you. And even with Silver Edge, it's just not good. Like. At least it disables his armor and his craggy. Like, that's almost better than disabling the enchant, because it's going to be almost impossible to do that. And now we have Bulba just, just farming. Bulba trying to do Bulba things. That was uh, the bloodstone of Timber Saw dying. I don't know why he brought the courier, because he had to still split apart his boots. That was just, that was just a misplay. My monkey's getting a little bit of nerves on him. At least they won the fight, so definitely could have been worse. Yeah, beat that centaur conquer. And all they they probably want to wait for their chicken, which is a minute. And Minute 20 seconds to get that back. Forever just farming newts while they do that. Fluff and stuff has had some really good grips out. Four staff saved him. And then he got the grip on uh, the, the Ursa and it was just a good night. That was really good. Fluff and stuff's playing really well. Hehehe. <laughs> And yep, look at, oh my, he went the greedy ass moon shard. Instead of going AC and helping the team, he went the moon shard. I mean, obviously, he consulted with his team before doing it. I would have. Far out. I just think AC is such a good spell. I mean, spell, what the hell? I'm, I'm tired. Uh oh. Any of his TVs out there now, now. Clearing the creeps, I mean, boats are very short cooldown, only that shit. 50 saints at level 2, it gets even lower at level 3. I mean, they can push towers so qu I mean, push towers quick with that, and there it looks like it's going to be a BKB on the tiny, judging from that ogre club this late. He's forever chickens back up, and 2, 1, 0, yeah! Ursa, BKB, Blink, Hell of the Dominator there. They're not falling behind, but they're they're starting to lose a little bit of the ground they first had. Wars had a really rough game. And if they get the Tiny gets a quick quick BKB, I do not know what O even with OD getting a BKB, like what's that gonna do? Get him, get him, Owie. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Get to go Agonims next oh, that's pretty obvious. We've like three people play Timber Saw in this team, haven't we? We saw Moo play it, and now we've seen Monkeys. Did Jail play it? No, I don't think Jail played it. Okay, just two. I think they played it. This is their third time though. These TC just farming. I am not sure what he gets next. Uh maybe a basher. A basher is not bad here. I still would oh man. Oh, I forgot you get the bonus night vision. I guess that's a big factor. Well, not a big factor, but a factor. Just farm right up. BKB in about 1,000. Last 900 or so. Yo, owie. Hey, 
And look at that. The perfect ward by Fluff and stuff from a free kill. Whoa! Get it? Yep, he did. He got the Bloodstone charge. That's what I meant. It's huge. Bloodstone charge are so good, especially when they do that. Yo, they might go in on him now, though. Trevor might be okay, though. I mean, it's... Oh, look at that. He just... Nice Yule. Ah, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's dead. Wait, what? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. I think they were trying to stop. I think you are right in doing that. I want to say that was wrong, but I think he was right. I think he was getting it to deny no matter what. And by doing that, they might have got the kill. At first, I looked like Radiant's middle tower is was right doing attack. that. R was right. Sumail right. Poor monkeys. How long have I been online now? Eight hours and 48 minutes, and we've watched a best of one, two best of threes in nine hours. The what? The what? Two hour game really uh, extended this up a little bit, eh? Okay, back to where we were. Fluff still just chilling up here, trying to get maybe a level 11. His old he gets reasonably better. Look at does a little more damage. That's about it. Actually, it's really not that much better, but not so safe harbor, eh? Look at that. They put the sentry there. Oh, he's gonna get another sentry right here. God, look at this. Fluff is just waiting, man. He is just scheming. Purple pings it out. That is tiny. He's like, we can't go. I'm tiny. And he has the BKB. They could almost just push. Think if they had an AC, though. I'm just saying. The AC would just... Towers would melt under the power. We got a Moo. Moo is now going for the... Uh... After he got Yules, I think Yules was a smart play. He is going to go now for the Aghanims, which he will have in about 1,700. Is Roche up? Not yet. Oh, these creeps are fighting each other. Hellbear Smash are going in. Oh, now the ghost slowing it. It won't get away. See if he, uh... The... No, just 45 gold. Interesting. Not optimal plays. You guys know about me and optimal plays. Bluff's literally just been sitting up here for like the past five minutes. Huh. This ward is putting so much work for him already. Like, it legitimately has. Bulba bottom, silver edge, and an... Smoke gang coming out of the radiant. There it is, Basher man. I called it. I'm the man. Holy crap! They do it quick. Oh, but the stun. He can't get bashed, and they will do it so quick. Every bash though slows it. And this is level two. I mean, uh, level three. Two items. They're gonna back out already. They see him. Maybe. Oh, smoke. Did they see it? They just know. Did he see it get blocked? Doesn't look like it. It is getting blocked a lot. Oh my god, are they actually gonna sneak this in? Oh my god, this would be so good. They they are they're gonna do it. 
Wait, are they? Oh my goodness, it's about to be a big fight. Jayo's in there. Oh my goodness, they all BKB. Jayo's just going ham wheezy. I mean, who's going to get it though? Gets killed by the Radiant, but he snatches it on the uh, OD. Oh goodness, they're not doing any damage though. Jayo just can't do any. TC's going in. He tosses him up. They're all so low, but no one's going down. And look, I don't know, Monkey's Forever's just flying around. So one for one so far. Is, uh, he goes down in chant. Where is he? Patch of L gets slapped. I don't even know what this guy's doing. He's attacking up hill. Oh, and there goes the Aegis. Monkey's Forever's still just chilling. Now they're gonna try to chase him down. Oh, good TP. Nice, nice, nice. Look at this guy. He's still running. So a one for one. Is that a buyback? That's a really bad buyback from Bulba. So it was a one for one. Tiny for Radiant's top tower uh, for Bulba. Yeah, and then he bought back. But the Radiant got the gold, and they got the Aegis. Vapor of Radiant. Yeah, they're gonna get a tower now though, cause the buyback. Nothing. As long as Bulba doesn't get the tower kill when he has the debuff. Oh, we haven't. Uh, Monkey's for. Oh, he gets out of there, maybe. Oh, he's Axe. He is dead. He's getting healed, though. Now he's dead. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And look at that. Look at this. It's funny when people play Fearless. Stuff like that happens. They get a kill and they're pushing power. Maybe other people should play Fearless instead of Scared. Look at that, Patch of L just getting his farm on. Oh, and he's in here now. Oh, oh we have a BKB coming out. Who's flying in there? It's Moo. Moo's just going to go down so quickly. Jayo's trying to beat that ass, and he cannot, though. He's going to force staff out. Look at TC is still there. Who gets tossed? Oh, the nature is probably BKB. Did he? Dead. And Jayo's still whooping ass. Send back. They see him. They see him. Oh, nice! J.O. and Fluff, man. Plaque City, TI2. And that's what happens when you play Gretzky, so I told you it's not good. <laughs> TC just farming Ancients, and they are, they are falling down 5,000 gold, about 7,500 experience. Archon is looking good. And they're just gonna farm now. And he is getting an AC now. I still would have liked the AC besides Moonshot. Uh, it doesn't make that big of a difference, actually. I think the kill potential's still there both ways, and they haven't really pushed towers, so it's fine either way. He has it now. He doesn't. The uh, 1300. He is level 20. Oh my goodness, he is a beast. Get to the net worth here. Oh wow. That is a very high net worth. Nothing that big going on here. Uh Fluff. Fluff being fluff. J O being J O everyone's just being themselves. Oh, does he have it now? No. He's missing... Oh, is he gonna split it? No, he did have the hyper... Wait, he had the... The hyper I might even see it. Alright. Yeah, he's yoked. Oh, my point five seven, And that is before the uh, 70 attack speed. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's just wait. Use it. Use your E, damn it. Oh, this regen rune is so big for Tiny, holy shit. Huh? Hello? Hello? What are you fucking doing? What? I don't know about that. I think if they somehow kept the IO, like, in the back, and they just popped the regen while Tiny was fighting, if they somehow did something crazy? I don't know. I would have... But they, they give it to him, so he gets full so they can fight, I guess. Yeah, vision. Oh, they both have a ward up here. Neither one. I like this ward, though. I they both see that. This. You see, he runs away. Are they just going to push top, maybe? 
Oh, too much safe play keeps the doctor away, my main. Why that's a bad thing. I mean, good. I don't know. I'm gonna talk about this game. I'm sorry, fam. This is probably this is probably the last game here. I'll be honest. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's oh wait, damn it! Has fallen. He is trying to push. Look, they have the TV back, even though they're not even pushing. Roshan is not at this wild wing rip. Gotta get that ass beat though. Twenty gold for purple and free. Hum. Four staff, mech up on Aoi, probably going to Guardian Greaves next, Steven. Blink Dagger now, I think Blink lost Prance. Damn good combo. TC. Steve, he's gonna go for the Abyssal. I think Abyssal's really strong here, Bulba. I'm not sure. I think Sheepstick is the idea, but we'll see. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's even 0 .1, 0.01 lower already. Where's IO at? Dyer's bottom tower has I fucking hate the Sion. Why won't he do it when I'm looking? Oh, he has a Vlad's now, so... More damage for J.O. 0.46 seconds. Oh my lord. I don't know why he's not hitting the tower. That seems really weird. I think they were fine. They're fine to fight this. OD is just... Not that farmed yet. But we've seen team fights go awry, so I mean, I'm fine being kind of a wimp. How was that blank? Radiance top tower is under attack. Bulba just pushing in top. He might get a tower out of this. Radiance Yellow's trying to TP. Well, if he does, he has it. Yep, Abyssal Blade. We're looking at gold, almost 10,000 in favor of Archon, as well as 12,000 in favor of the Archon, aka the Radiant. Ghost Scepter now up on Bane. This guy, if he has his lads, he sure does. Deo just has armor and does damage. That's that's still the good life. We might see a Shiva's coming up on next. All the auras, always good. Who at? Oh, he's up there with him. He has an axe. He does a lot of damage. Look at this. They, they have to go back to, like, just even defend, like, tend to defend, because this tiny can take their base in, like, five seconds. They, they do. Okay, that's huge. I don't know what's going on. We have BKG coming out, World Destroy. Oh my goodness, he does he is an abyssal. Oh, he does abyssal and he just gets forced. Oh my goodness. TC gets false promise though after he gets gripped by the bane. Jay's just trying to beat that ass, but he can't really do anything. False promise plus the ulti on TC means they're not gonna really do anything. And we have an X marks the spot, we have a blink in, and then it gets pulled back and uh it's Archon actually get a back up after they I think they're fine, man. Yeah, look at the end of they just can take this tower. There we go, there's the it's fine, just keep beating it. That's gonna be a tower down. Glimmered, maybe a blink in. No abyssal up yet. Oh, Jail's in a lot of trouble though. TC's trying to go in. Oh my goodness, never mind. J he just blows up the Oracle. Now Jail finally goes down. Are you gonna be able to do anything else? A lot of damage going on TC. Oh my goodness, it almost killed. My goodness. Who are they going on Monk's Fair? That's, uh, this could be a bad fight for him. No, not do anything. And Jail blinked in far too aggressively right here. He should have kept hitting from the front now. We have the Scythe of Vice up on the the Prophet, so not a bad fight, honestly, for uh, DC. It really wasn't. They're going to get a free num Roshan number four, it looks like. Oh, Silver Edge is his... Uh, Stuff off, smell blow. Oh. Does that work? Huh. The passive. Has fallen to 
Well, definitely knocks it off. All right. And now we have OD. If he, oh man, okay, yeah, this is definitely looking for uh, DC. About to have a sheep stick with an Aegis on OD. Uh, what, what's their plan? I think with Tiny, they need to push. They need to push now while the glyph's down, and he has a high-level BKB. It's only 7, same 30, kind of low. But what do they have to go through it? Just the Ursa Abyssal, really, to stop him? <laughs> Fluff, level 13, not lovely and feeble. I kind of would like feeble, but whatever. And there, there's nothing going on. We got about 3.6k on the tiny. What does he get next? I feel like their time's actually closing. It looks like they're up by a lot, but I, uh, their time's like shutting down here. The OD, the Nature's Prophet, and the Ursa getting big? I don't know. Yep, there's the Sheep and the Aegis. This is gonna be interesting. Guardian Greaves on Kunkka as well, oh my. Oh, they're not going to find anyone up there. Oh, yellow. No. No, you're playing it so fine. Don't go up there. The seeds of fortune. Yellow might actually... Oh, butter. Jesus Christ. Is he selling his blank or what? I didn't see he had that. Yikes. Oh, moon sh shard. Top tower is under attack. Radiance top oh, he ate the moon shard and got a butterfly. Okay, that makes sense. Uh oh, look at it on the right side. There's going to be about to be a big fight. Oh, Blue be careful. TC, is he going to abyssal? He does waste the abyssal. TC needs to ulti right now. So he stopped taking damage. They just destroy the bane immediately. Jail's just chasing people around, but he's not doing anything. So he even gets beat down a little bit. We're going to have a two for oh trade already for DC. They need to run an X marks the spot. Oh, no. Needs to be careful. Does he have the sheep up? He does not. Put them under sheep's gonna be up in four cents. Are they really gonna run? Guess they kinda have to. Jo still yokes on him. Gold and sweet. And now he's probably dead. Yeah. That is fine. I mean, DC's fine with that. That forced buyback from the Bane? They only lost to Kunkka. Yeah, the Archon's, Archon's window is definitely closing now. Maybe they force a fight while Kunkka is down? I mean, that's the smartest thing to do. I don't know what Orange is doing, though. Glyph back up. Glyph is back up now. Why is he backing up? I just don't understand. Like, they're running in, but you have your BKB up. Not backdooring it. I really think they could just IO Tiny backdoor, maybe, and like they're defending it. Um... So I keep saying I'm a lot, I'm just too tired, this is definitely my last game, I'm dying. Looks like we're gonna have an MKB for the Nature's Prophet, that's smart. An OD, OD doesn't really need it, he just orbs that. I don't know, I feel like Radiant's playing this really wrong right now. I was meant to have this.
Nothing, nothing, nothing going on. We just got a smoke from the IO. Timbersaw now. Okay, Gensu on Timbersaw is huger. I mean, Scythe of Ice. Oh, I guess we're, he's gonna farm push out there. I'm not even smoking, they're just gonna farm. I, I don't see how this benefits them at all. I really don't. It just seems like bad captaining at this point. I'm not trying to be rude, it just does. That, they, they have to know, right? Their wind conditions like going so small right now. There's the MKB. He will melt tiny, especially because Craggy will be gone. With me. Oh, here we go. I don't know why they're trying to push bottom, and I don't really. I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to be cheeky or what. Ward goes down. Roshan isn't up yet. What are they doing? I just don't. I've been confused in a lot of Dota games with the really passive play that's lost a lot of games. Three bloodstone charges. Maybe a big fight happening, probably not. Just gonna jump out of smoke and not push bottom, I assume. Good lord, Aether Lens Axe. The long ass range, yep, and there we go, the smoke and not push. I guess he's gonna sell Blink now, and he has his Daedalus. Is under attack. If he does sell his Blink, it is. Who knows? I don't know. I really, I just don't know what Radiant's doing at the moment. I'm sure, your gold's going back up, but where's like the gold going to? Just all going to Tiny right now. Ursa, 4.6k. Roshan still not up. I don't know. I guess the NA games have turned into these, like, stalemate 400 minute matches. I, I do not, there's no way this match becomes a million dollar, uh, two hour match. If it does, I'll just cry. I'll legitimately cry on stream for you guys. Very close to being up here. But Jay will just run out. Have a TP by Bolas. See, it's gonna be so much easier for Nature's Prophet. With how farmed he is, he can just split push and back door and whatnot. Is up now. Wait, did Jo just miss it? I don't think he saw it. It literally went up as he ran away. Oh, they're looking like they're doing it. 
And now we're gonna do it instead. Oh boy, this could be a big fight. Monkey Sphere was TPing down. They're just doing it. He doesn't get his BKB off. Jayla's in a lot of trouble. He's dodging everything though. Nice force tap out. He has BKB now. Oh my goodness. Are they going to be able to just blow him up? A false frost comes out early. TC is not taking any damage. Oh, is he going to kill Moo? A perfect grip. Moo's going to live. Oh my goodness. They just beat TC down. This is amazing. Is he going to be able to catch up to Demon? It should be a one shot. Oh my goodness. He kills the Outward Devour. Oh, Bulba goes down as well. It's a four for one trade. Or four for zero trade. They all buy back except Bulba. Does Bulba have buyback? He doesn't. No, he just does. He just used it. Okay, who's gonna get it? Who's getting Aegis and Cheese? They do it. Oh my goodness, they have Owie. They have Owie. No, they don't have Owie. They have the Aegis, so. Wait, what did he? Fuck. He ate the Cheese, though. Oh boy, Bulba is getting his ass whooped. Oh, he gets the sheep off, though. We have the IL TP back in. When he kills the trees, Whitebeard with the buyback tree kill. Oh my goodness, Moo dies as well though. What's going on? We have the kill on Bane. That's getting a lot of gold. Oh, Monkeys Forever is getting sent back. Here comes the boat. Oh, he misses everything though. Oh no, Jay. Oh, the boat actually barely hits Jay. But he's dodging every attack with the butterfly. Yeah, the fluttering just went off. Oh my god. Look, it's pure damage. He's dead. Ah, oh, he is dead. There's no way he lives this. Is it? I don't know. False Promise literally lasts half the map. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Did he have cheese? Or what did he do? Oh my goodness, a perfect toss. Oh, and he ate that. Oh my, he gets him though. I'm all so small. Does he have his blink? He doesn't have a blink anymore. Notice. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Huh. Well, that was a fight. No buyback on on OD. OD and Firan have no buyback. You know he's not taking magical damage, right? That's what that does. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. <laughs> this is kind of funny. He's waiting. He's, he can save him if he wants. And they're going to back out. I think this is your time to strike. Archon, it really is your time to strike. It hits the range track, so. Uh oh, he's going in. Oh my god, Thieben just blown the hell up. We're gonna have going in. Is he gonna TP him out? He just maxed him. He's gonna kill TC. Is he? Yeah, he sure is. He damn right is, he is. Thrax. Oh my goodness, Archon is doing it. J.O. is playing this so well. Is he gonna TP out? He doesn't have the. Oh, nice sheep stick. The boat's gonna come in. It's gonna be an easy kill. Is J.O. gonna be able to get anyone? Oh, what? I, don't, I don't know about that stun. We have a sheep, though. Yeah, he's dead. Even with the axe, it doesn't matter. Bulba is already he, he bought back. He's dead for another 76 saints now. They're just gonna go middle. They don't even need the IO. My goodness. Archon is doing it. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. They're gonna do it. Archon's gonna do it. They call a good game. Archon just won. AO is the man. Big crap. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They did it. Good lord. I don't know how. I really don't. I was wrong the whole... I don't know what that fight was. That Roche. How do you fight into an Aegis Tiny like that? Because he placed his item on the ground and Bulba killed it. He had the Aegis and you just keep fighting into him and your Ursa dies. That That's just poor play. Poor play by DC. TC should... DC 100% should 